one of the issues uh, when drawing these travel distances is the idea that our lines or polylines don't show up correctly. And this happens because we have a polyline on top of other polyline. You can see how the dashed are not showing correctly. To avoid this, you will have to do many things, you know, such as drawing another line on top of it and maybe put it on dev point so you can get the length correctly of this uh, distance over here. But let me show you a quick trick to streamline this process even quicker. So what we can do is we can select one of the polylines and hover over the grip, simply click on it and pressing control. This will add a vertex. As you can see, the add vertex option is selected and you can simply click right there. And now you can see how beautifully your dashed are showing, even though um, they are both on top of each other. So a, a quick little trick to streamline, again, the process of um, adding drawing, uh, sorry, adding travel distances in AutoCAD. So what happened um, if, for instance, I want to add a new travel distance over here? So what I'll have to do is draw a polyline, right? And go all the way up here, like so, and start drawing you know my path or my distance all the way up here like so then i'll have to match properties i'll have to start copying these arrows right and then rotating them this is a common practice or a common way of doing um, this right many folks uh, do this actually at the office where i work <laughs> um, but that's not right um, let's see how we can streamline uh, this process right so because again that's not right we don't want to waste time uh, adding arrows rotating these arrows one by one till we get this done that's a tedious task that we can streamline so the way we're gonna do this is by using a line type a custom line type all right so again i'm gonna erase all of these things that we don't need it so the idea is that you can use a custom line type I have one already, which is right here. So I have a custom line type called Travel Path. Um, and I'm going to show you how to load it over here. Of course, um, you can Google and find any um, travel path line time online. But this one I created it myself. It's a custom one that um, based on the arrow type that we use at the architectural office so let me show you how we can load this line type over here and streamline this process so i'm gonna go and create a new layer first i'm gonna open my layer palette um really quick create a layer travel path and over here, I'm going to assign a line type. I'm going to double click on it. Um, so right now, I don't have um, this. Uh, let me see. I don't have, again, the la custom line time that I need travel path. Uh, it's not in here. If I type T, it's not in there. So but what I can do is click load. And over here, if I type file, um, so AutoCAD is using, let me expand this, AutoCAD is using these two different files for to store line type definitions, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, um, holding control, click and drag it, 
over there is to create a copy. You can rename it as you wish, but I'm gonna leave it as like that. But the idea is that I can open this copy by right clicking on it. Here is um, all of the line type definitions um, stored in AutoCAD. But if you scroll down, that's where it says user definition line types. Add any line types that you define to this section, blah, blah, blah. So that means I can add my small code for my line type. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go and open my travel path line type. And I'm going to simply go ahead and copy that. So again, um, if you are interested, I can help you. Maybe I can do a different video to show you how we create custom line types. But um, for this, um, uh, we're gonna, yeah, I guess I close it. Let me open it back again. <laughs> uh, so again, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna right click and paste my custom travel path line time, all right? So that's all I need to do. Um, I can close this now and of course save the changes. Simply move this out of the way. Now, I just added it, that travel path line time over here. What I need to do next is of course open that up, right? So like I can reuse this. Um, oops, we got a message it says bad definition of travel path 11 at line 176 so 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 okay so we have a problem i'm gonna click okay for now and let's see if i'm gonna type t nope my travel path line type is not loaded probably because of that problem so let me go back to the line type file and see what's going on so again this one is a one that i created myself uh, for the off architectural office because they use a specific arrow style and so on all right this is why it's happening so we're using a travel path arrow number four that it's supposed to be stored on this path um, and this is a shape um, inside AutoCAD. Um, probably AutoCAD is not finding that shape named travel path arrow 4 so that's why it's causing the problem so let's fix that um, and for now let's um, click cancel and cancel so let's add that shape first and let me find it okay it's two, two. Uh, let's see shapes right here all right so that's the uh, autocad let me see if i can expand autocad compile shape that um, my custom line type needs. So how do we add this uh, to our system? Let me show it to you. I'm gonna go and open the options um, dialog box. Over here, what we need to do is expand the support file search path. And right here, what we need to do is add and browse that folder where our shape is. So let me go and do that really quick. And here we go. So let's open that up. Our shapes path folder was added over here. That means um, AutoCAD can now search and look and find that. So let's go ahead and um, add the custom line type again. So this time, hopefully everything will go smoothly. So let me open this first uh, to see that my line type still there. And yes, it is my line type travel path 11. So that's good. So let's open that up, open. And here we go, we didn't get any errors now. So let's look for our line type. Great, it's right there, travel path 11. So let me click okay. And let me find it right here. 
Uh, oops. Let's see. Open. Mm. It was there. I saw it. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Trouble path 11. As you can see, it has an arrow right there. So I'm going to click OK. And here we go. Now, you're going to see how easy it is. Uh, first, let me set that current that layer so let me go travel uh, filter my layers so that way i can find it quicker i'm gonna go and click all non extra layers so that way when i go here i can simply type travel path and here it is now you're gonna see how easy it is to just draw my travel path like so go like so and see how beautiful things start working now isn't that great guys again this is a custom line type um, based on our preferences that we use at the office but uh, you can set it up per your needs we don't need to mess around with the arrows and anything anymore all right so um now also, when we start adding our travel paths, um, sometimes, um, well, not sometimes, always we need to add a distance, right? For instance, I'm gonna, if I need to add my distance, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to copy this, I'm gonna have to copy that, and move it over here, change this to door three or so on and change the you know the size of the door but the distance over here i'll have to select my polyline open my property palette check uh, the length 67 and 5 inches and start typing my distance so let's just streamline that process also a little bit right so we can all save time so the way i'm going to streamline this is by mm, by going to the options dialog box and uh, let's see over here let's go to mm, display mm, let's up or click the display tab and over here we'll find the rollover tooltips so as you can see mine is checked but if you your yours is probably not so go ahead and check that and click ok and what this is gonna do is that if you hover on it on a polyline you'll find information like this you can find color layer and line type but let's add also the length of uh, of selected polylines or hovering polylines because I'm not selecting it I'm just um, hovering my pointer on it so in order to add the length and streamline this process um, what we can do is let's see how we can do that um, okay let's go to the CUI and we're gonna open uh, in a moment, AutoCAD is, oh, it's right here on my second screen. <laughs> so over here, um, there is an option for rollover tooltips right here. And if we, um, depending on what item we select, let's select, for instance, polylines. You can see that right now we have color layer and line type, but I don't really care about line type so i'm gonna pick the length right here um, layer i don't really care also about color layers i just want a quick length you could also pick an area if you want but for this specific example i'm gonna simply click length i'm gonna click ok and look what's gonna happen now if i hover over here boom i have immediately my length which is 65 and 
sorry, 67 feet and five inches. So I can put that here, 67 and five inches and I'll be done. Isn't that great guys? So as you can see, there are multiple tricks and techniques that we can use to streamline the process of drawing travel path or distances. Now we could go even farther and create a block that could automatically update the distance and so on. And I did that for myself, but that would be for a different video, a different live stream. If you want to streamline your AutoCAD workflows, join our lazy professionals and business owners at Patreon Lazy Architecto.